Let's go! Giddy up! Yeehaw! <laughs> it's time for another quick video, a good informational video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Chocolate Bloom. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Bloom. Orlando. <laughs> Orlando. Orlando Bloom? Yeah. I have no idea who that is. Lord of the Rings? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, whatever. Cue the intro. Yeah. talking about uh, chocolate bloom like we said it can be a problem it can yeah. kind of be a concern wouldn't you say I, I would agree yeah you get your chocolate and so you get it shipped in or you bought it let's say at Christmas and you go in on the fourth of July you're gonna make some chocolate goodies and you're like well chocolate's ruined mm -hmm. it's got white spots on it it looks terrible what do we do about it right right and you know sadly a lot of people when they see that chocolate is turned white they think it's bad and mm -hmm. so they just throw it out yep don't do that. Well, you can do that because it will sell more, but we're, we're looking out for you guys, so don't do that. What you're seeing with that white is actually called a bloom, and in essence, a variation in temperature, humidity, mm -hmm. or lighting has actually pulled the oil or the sugar to the surface. That's okay. what we're seeing. So as you guys are seeing on the right side there, that chocolate that is on the right side, those three wafers, those have the bloom on it. You mm -hmm. can see the fats and the oils mm -hmm. that have been pulled to the surface yes. on there compared to the chocolates on the left where it has not been pulled to the surface. Yeah, right, exactly. And so it's no big deal because what happens is when you remelt that chocolate, the bloom, it just melts and mixes right back into the chocolate. Perfect taste perfect performance. It'll have a great gloss. Um, the only warning I would say is if you take a chunk of bloom chocolate and you pop it in the old pie hole, it, it's not going to taste good at first because all oil. you're tasting is the oil. Yeah, exactly. Sense. Yeah. So yeah. with uh, with the bloom, um, after it's been stored for a year or if it, re if it comes, comes bloomed, let's say from the humidity and transport, mm -hmm. do I need to add Paramount Crystals? That's a great question. So in itself, when a chocolate is bloomed, you wouldn't need to add the Paramount Crystals okay. if it arrived and it was relatively fresh. If chocolate has been stored, then you're going to want to use Paramount Crystals. Okay. Because again, the inherent nature of a stored chocolate is when you pop it out, it'll melt thicker. Okay. So if you see a bloom, you know that you've had it in your cupboard for six months or eight months, hey, I better sprinkle some Paramount Crystals on top. Okay, mm -hmm. and the uh, video will be linked up above uh, one of the corners uh, if you guys wanna learn how to use Paramount Crystals or if you have stored chocolate, you wanna learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. Awesome, great. So we appreciate you guys as always. We always look forward to doing these. You guys are great. We love you uh, here at Lynn's Cake Candy and Chocolate Supplies. <laughs>